This question is from the Oxford Math Permission Test in 2020, and I think it's a great question for all the Calculus 1 students and also all the AP Calculus students. So check this out. A line is tangent to the parabola y is equal to x squared at the point a comma a squared, and notice that the a is greater than zero. We are going to find the area of the region bounded by the parabola, the tangent line, and also the x-axis. So of course, let's take a look at the picture. And we just have to focus on the first quadrant because a is positive, Okay, let's see. Let's say this right here is y equals x squared. And let's say the a is right here. And let's say this is the tangent line. So here is the a. Therefore, we can see that this is the region that we want. Now, we have two ways to do this. The first way is integral. The second way is also integral. But the first integral is that. You know, usually when we do the area under the curve, we draw the rectangles vertically. Don't do that, because that way you can see that once we pass this point here, we will have to you know, separate this into two integrals, because we will have to do the top minus the bottom. Or you can just do the integral from 0 to a, and then find out the area of this blue triangle. But if you just imagine there's a triangle. So you can do that, I guess, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I would like to do the rectangles horizontally. So have a look. I'm just going to put down a rectangle like this. And as you can see, that way we can see the um, height is just going to be dy, meaning the small change in the y values. And then the width is going to be the x value of the blue function minus the x value of the function right here, like the parabola right there. Okay, so we just had to figure out what the x value for the blue equation is, and that's the part we have to do calculus, obviously. So here we go. This is the tangent line, right? So we will have to first get the derivative so that we can get the slope. The slope of this, let me just, actually, let me put it down right here first. This point is a comma a squared. So we have the point, but the slope is when we differentiate that, right? So m for the slope, which is going to be the derivative, which is going to be 2x. And then we want add x equals a. So the slope is just going to be 2a. So now as we can see, we have the point and also the slope. So we can use the point slope form of the line to construct our equation. So this is going to be the equation of the tangent line. And I would just say we have y minus y1, which is a squared. And that's equal to the slope, which is 2a, times x minus that, right? x1, so just that. OK, and then we want the x. So I will have to isolate the x right here. So perhaps that's just depends on how you want to do it. We can divide both sides by 2a first. So let's go ahead and do that. So in that case, we see that this is 1 over 2a and then y, and then this is minus 1 over 2 and then a, and that's equal to x minus a. And of course, we are just going to add a on both sides, cancel this, add a, and then we see that x is equal to 1 over 2a times y, and then this is negative 1 half plus 1, so be really careful, it's positive 1 half a. All right, so we do have the equation now. That's this right here. Cool. And now we also need the x for the parabola. We know that y is equal to x squared. So for this part, we can just take the positive square root. So this means x is equal to the positive square root of y. Cool. So if you want to have this area, we can just go ahead and do the following. Area will just be equal to, of course, integral. But we will be in the y world. So we have to go from 0 to here, which is a squared. So we go from 0 to a squared. And then we will do the function on the right, which is that. I will just put this down real quick. So we have the 1 over 2ay plus 1 over 2a. And then minus the function on the left, which is the square root of y. And then in the y world. And I know you guys want me to put down the parentheses. So there we go. And you can just integrate this. 
I will integrate it for you. Let's see if we have enough space to finish this one out. The answer is 8 to the third power over 12 if you don't want to wait for the... I, I will just tell you guys the answer. So here is the area. The area is 8 to the third power over 12. Right? Not that because I did this in my head. I did this beforehand so I know the answer. But anyway, finish this integral because imagine if you are doing this on the test, you have to... <laughs> you have no help. You will just have to... Yeah, do it on your own. So let's do it. So integrate this. Add 1 to the power divided by that. So we have 1 over 4 a y squared plus integrating this. You just put a y next to it. So 1 over 2 a y minus this is the same as y to the 1 half power. And then we can just add 1, which is 3 over 2, and then divide it by the new power, which is 2 over 3. So we have 2 over 3 y to the Wow, 3 over 2 power. And then, oh my goodness. Thankfully, we have the 0 on the bottom. That, that's, that's good. And then a squared. Okay, plugging a squared. Let's see, this is 1 over 4a, parentheses, a squared, and then squared, plus 1 over 2a, and then a squared. And then plugging a square, so we have minus 2 over 3 parentheses, a square, and then 3 over 2, and then minus 0, so it doesn't matter anymore. Cool. Now, let's see. 1 over 4, a to the fourth power over a, so we have a to the third power. a to the third power again, so plus 1 over 2, a to the third power. <laughs> oh my god, this is not cancel. We have a to the third power and we have the minus 2 over 3, a to the third power. Is this really 1 over 12? Let's see for the coefficient. So, of course, just get a common denominator. We need to get to 6. So, let's multiply this by 3, multiply this by 6, multiply this by 4. Ladies and gentlemen, 3 plus that is 9. 9 minus 8 is 1 over. The denominator is 12, and then we have the a to the third power, and then we are done. Yep, just like, just like that. Cool. I, wow, this like this works out really nicely though. Like how did he all end up with like a to the third power? And again, this is another example that I like a lot because we have the third power <laughs> in a two-dimensional case. I think that's just fascinating. Yeah. So, if you don't know what I just said, check out this video for what I mean by that.